we're, we're accomplished cyclists, but um, we've been facilitated by a, a fabulous uh, uh, guide, and um, we've, we've achieved so much. As a team, we've come together, and I think we'll be buddies now for, for a long, long time. Um, and that's all because of John. Uh, John is the, the glue that pulls all this together. Um, and uh, if anyone wants to do something adventurous, epic, um, and hasn't quite got the um, uh, ability to do it on their own, this is the right place to come. And you're going to come to some amazing places here and have a life uh, achievement that you're going to be very proud of and it's going to you take to your grave because it's just unforgettable. It's just been... It's, it's been emotional. <laughs> Uh, probably the hardest thing I've done, and I've done some pretty silly challenges, um, but the support, Marcello, our guide, uh, was just incredible to keep the whole team together and, and make everything really seamless. Nothing was a problem, everything just worked. And we have done, I mean, the, the death road ride was the big one. All right, guys, so we are in uh, San Juan Waterfalls. Uh, yeah, this road was built by uh, Paraguayan prisoners, 1920s, 1930s. Uh, these guys, uh, well, we had a war with Paraguay. According to them, they won. According to us, we won, but we won the war, okay? <laughs> yeah. So uh, over there, we have that uh, wood cross. It's from an accident uh, that happened in 1985. Uh, basically, two buses crashed. You know, one was going down, the other one coming up. That happened at night. It was very foggy, cloudy, and both buses were uh, without lights, okay? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's classic in Bolivia. So, uh, both buses uh, crashed and both uh, fell down the cliff. Almost, uh, yeah, uh, everyone died, 120 people at the same time, you know? It's crazy. But we've done two or three other also epic rides. It's, I'm going to bore the hell out of my friends from now until my grave recounting this trip. This is my fourth, fifth trip with John Johnson and my fourth trip to South America in the last 18 months. And every time they seem to find a way to one up each other. Um, superlatives abound. There's nothing quite like it down here. You will be challenged. Um, this is a harsh environment, but stunning. Uh, the unique transition between riding from the jungle floor and starting your ride surrounded by spider monkeys and then finishing almost at 16,000 feet and uh, freezing your tush off is a, is a life experience you won't soon forget. So um, I can endorse this wholeheartedly if you're looking for something you won't forget and is about as far away from your standard weekend group ride as you'll ever find. Uh, come down here and give it a try. All right, hey, I'm Bruce. Uh, John, I think you and I now have ridden together in uh, four or five different states in the West and in France and now Bolivia. Wow. Um, I can't say enough about this uh, trip and the excursion. I was the uh, oldest and weakest rider here, and I was looked after. Uh, nobody cared that I fell behind. Marcelo, who you'll meet in a moment, is fantastic. Uh, always made sure everybody was uh, well fed and had all the mechanical support they needed. The rides were amazing all the time. We had constant support and uh, a van behind us blocking traffic. Can you ask for that in Bolivia? How are you going to get that anywhere else other than PGM? Uh, it was a fantastic trip, just uh, epic riding that, that can't be reproduced. I don't think I've ever suffered more. I don't think I've ever been to anywhere more remote. And I don't think I've had any more fun. This experience riding up the death road uh, has been incredible. I'm still struggling to find the right words to describe it beyond saying once again, it was incredible. From staying at, at, in La Paz and exploring the beautiful city and learning about the culture there to riding down the death road, which was quite an adventure, uh, all the way down to Yolosa and then um, Corioco, staying there, the, the hotel there was beautiful, the environment was incredible, but probably the most important thing was the, the people that I got to ride with. John is an incredible person. Cello, our guide, is the best guide that you will ever have in your entire life, and I count myself lucky to have ridden up the road 
with so many incredible people from all over the world. I was inspired by everyone. It pushed me to be a better cyclist. Uh, and it is an experience I will never forget. Obviously, the crown jewel was riding up the death road. Man, just what an experience. So beautiful. It every, every few hundred feet, there was some new vista that was the best thing I'd ever seen in my life. And that continued for all 40 miles. Well, at least until the last, like, three miles when it was dark and I was just trying to get up to the top. <laughs> uh, but it was it was incredible. I want to do it again. Uh, but if I don't, I have precious memories for the rest of my life. My, my friend John got me into this. <laughs> I, it is an utter privilege to do this with you, man. I, I don't know the words, but man. Uh, that was great. <laughs> well, hey, Nigel, Nigel, hold on. Okay. The good news? And the bad news, go on. We're halfway. <laughs> okay, thank you, John. Thank you guys for coming and visiting my country. Um, yeah, today uh, you celebrate that you guys uh, finish and experience uh, really good uh, stuff in my country. And yes, it's a pleasure for a, a local, for a Bolivian to show you uh, the roads, the nature that we have, the places that we have, uh, how rich is my country, the culture that we have, and thanks to John to create this uh, um, this uh, uh, idea and project, you know. So uh, yeah, for everyone who to, wants to come to South America and visit my country, this is the right place for mountain biking, hiking, culture and we're going to explore we're going to show you experiences about the uh, uh, about this uh, uh, side of the world and thanks for visit it was a great pleasure for me to ride with you guys uh, people with a lot of passion uh, it was impressive really impressive for me to um, uh, see you up in the mountain 4000 meters uh, in the dark, finishing the world's most dangerous road uphill, you know. It's uh, very crazy, impressive. You see the road up there? So we're going to start uh, uphill to the left, then a right turn and continue up. On this ridge? Yes. This ridge? In the middle. It's kind of uh, flat, downhill. It's very tricky. And then there is a... Uh, Another probably 7k uphill. Oh, it's windy. And I don't have words to describe how incredible I felt these, these days with you guys. It's just uh, amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Marshall, let me ask you a couple of questions. It, it's, this wasn't your first uh, time up the death road, I don't think, or down it. Um, you have a little bit of experience out there. Yes, I have a lot of experience uh, riding up and riding down the dead road. I'm working uh, 13 years on the, on the dead road as a tour guide. So over 2,500 times going down the road and not so many going up the road, but uh, yes, I have uh, experience uh, cycling all my life uh, yeah, with a BMX mountain bike road track everything so uh yes and we uh everybody here brought essentially a gravel bike i think with 38 to 42 wheels so we can do the death road on a gravel bike i think and then there's the hiking up to chocotelia which is just exceptional extraordinary exactly. what are the other it goes to 17,200 feet if you're crazy like charlie <laughs> you go all the way to the peak uh 17.4 or so yes um but there are other things to do in la paz to experience the culture and enjoy yourself here and what what are exactly. some of those so we can do a lot of uh, cycling hiking uh we can explore the city now with the cable cars uh, um, we have different areas in la paz that uh we can do different stuff, uh, experiences, uh, walking into the cemeteries, walking tours, uh, do uh, uh, tours in coca plantations, coffee plantations, 
uh, we can also teach you how to prepare your own uh, local drinks, your own uh, local food, you know. So, um, yes, we have a lot of things to do. And you wrote it Lake Titicaca, which most people know. It's a famous lake, the, uh, the highest navigable lake in the world, and you took a group out there to, to ride. And that was exactly. a wonderful experience from what I hear. I, we, we, you know, we went up to uh, Chacatelli and hiked, but they rode. So that's another uh, uh, thing to do while we're Yes. Mm -hmm. The Titicaca Lake is, um, is very famous. It's the uh, only lake in the world which is uh, um, well, open for people, let's say, and uh, it's above, uh, yes, uh, 4,000 uh, meters above the sea level. So uh, cycling uh, next to the lake, it's, there is no description, you know. I'm a local, I'm Bolivian, and every time that I go to the lake, uh, on the bus, walking, or like in this case, my perfect way to go to the Lake Titicaca on a bike is just amazing, you know, there is no, uh, uh, it's it's the the road is beautiful. Not probably in, uh, it's not the newest road uh, of Bolivia, but uh, the atmosphere, the, the the lake, the trees, and everything, the the people, uh, you know, it's it's amazing. So uh, we used to do races in Lake Titicaca, and it's it's hard, you know. You start with uh, good weather. Uh, you have uh, fun going down as well, some flat sections, and going up, it's really hard. Uh, but you, once you finish the, the, the uphill, you get to the summit, you start the descent, and you have this incredible view of the Copacabana and the lake, and it's just amazing. Fantastic. And thank, we all share in this, just thank you so much. It was so special. We appreciate you and what you've done for us. Now, finally, uh, spontaneous guys, I'm going to drop this on you. Um, one word for uh, how you would describe this tour. Chocos locos. <laughs> we have to change the rules of uh, counting because uh, once in a lifetime is now my one word description. Indescribable. Utterly spectacular. Unforgettable. <laughs>